So you want to learn how to start a cult, but you don't know where to begin. Lucky for you, I have a psychology degree in cult starting, so I'll be your guide today. Unlike most other groups, cults are totally cool, and don't require anything more than the occasional sacrifice to be a part of. And if you don't want to sacrifice anybody, maybe chill out on the cult thing for a while. Now if you want to start a cult, you're going to want to be a good cult leader. So maybe if you're feeling confident, ask your parents if you can host some cult sessions in your basement once in a while. If they say yes, then congratulations, you now have a spot for your cult to host annual meetings. Now that you have a place for your cult to reside, let's find some people for your cult. So you're going to want to head to the local library and have some people join. Hey, does anyone here like Shrek? I like Shrek! Alright, join my cult. Sign here, 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 initials there. And if you want, you can break some snacks, because I don't have money. Now that you've got some people for your cult, let's decide what your cult's about. For the cult that I just started, let's say our religion is... Shrek. Except for the third one, the third one sucks. Now that the cult is all together, we should make a social hierarchy so that no one feels left out. We will have three layers to our social hierarchy. The priests, the worshippers, and the commoners. Let's give each layer their own personal benefit. The priest will get discounts on all Shrek movies, the worshippers will get discounts on all Shrek soundtracks, and the commoners will get discounts on Shrek merchandise. Now that everyone's got their own personal benefits, they won't fight each other and start a riot. But just in case your cult does start a riot, here's some stuff you can do to prevent it in the first place. The riot will usually begin with someone feeling left out and wanting to rebel against all the other cult people. 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 The riot will usually start when someone feels left out and rebels against all the other cult people. So you're going to want to make sure that everyone feels included and that no one feels left out. You can do this by participating in cult exercises every week. Board games, movie nights, anything that will keep the cult running. You can even host a game of D&D if you're into that sort of thing. Just make sure that no one's left out. Even if you really want to leave out the guy named Jimmy who, you know, kind of sucks, but he brings really good guacamole, so you invite him anyway, just include him in the game. Then he won't start a riot. Another thing you can do is have a bunch of weapons so that they'll never fight against you because they know of the amount of pain you can bring them. And so they won't start a riot because they know that they will lose. That's everything I know about being a good cult leader, but if you want to be a good cult member, you might want to stick around. If you want to be a good cult member, then I would suggest sticking around with all the cult people and trying to make friends. Never oppose against higher authority, otherwise you will be kicked out of the cult. Unless the higher authority is trying to hurt someone, in which case grab all your weapons you have and start a riot. If they aren't trying to hurt someone however, then you should follow them to the end of the line. Preserve your status so that everyone respects you and doesn't want to hurt you. Also bring snacks if the cult leader doesn't have money. And if you don't want to join a cult, that's okay. I understand why. Peace. <laughs> You know what's funny is that right after I uploaded the Q and A video, I, my I fixed my video. <laughs> I just had to, <laughs> I just had to re-download the files from the original like, the original thing from Krita. So, it was all good. So I just finished that today. So that was really cool. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's just say that Q and A thing was for 900 subscribers. It basically was. Uh, just wanted to talk about that. This video also took too long to make. <laughs> uh, sorry if my character is a little stale in this one. I didn't want to, like, push the boundaries a little too much because I didn't want it to look bad. And, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Thank you guys again for the fan art. After I uploaded the Q&A video, I got a ton again. It's amazing. And I, I'm sorry that I can't fit all of it in there. My computer only has that much space and I have to re-download and delete some fan art. So I only... I only like, I could only fit so many in one video. Thank you so much for donating your fan art, and I will see you in the next video. Shout out to Kyle, by the way. His links are also on my channel. It's in the cool people section, okay?